G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I haven't got my gloves, oh my gosh. Never mind, um, I'll get them in a sec. I'm gonna do another swipe for you. You know the ones that I've been doing lately where I dip my paper towel in the black and then swipe up and then swipe down. So something similar to that, but instead of doing it in the middle, because I've chosen a long, narrow canvas, I'm just going to swipe from the top and down, just the one, okay? Just so that you can see, because some people are saying, why do you start in the middle and go up and down? You can do either. So this time I'm just going to swipe from the top down. I've still got some of my black left from the other day when I did that pinky purple one. And you don't need very much, so I'll use that. It's still got the silicone oil in it. I added a tiny splash of water just because it's been sitting um, for a couple of days. But there's not much there's not much oil in there, so I thought I'd add some oil to my colours. So I'm going to go with gold, burgundy and red. I tried making my own burgundy. <laughs> I'm not that happy with it. It's kind of more of a purpley shade, but I guess burgundy is like a purpley red. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I tried to do. So the gold is the artist loft, and it's pretty old now, and it's a bit thick and lumpy. So I've got as many lumps out as I can, but I think there's still some in there. So my pouring medium is 50% glue, Elmer's glue all, and 50% water. And then this one I've mixed one to one and with a splash of water. This is not as thick as this. Okay? So these two are one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So 90 grams of pouring medium to 60 grams of paint. And you can see it's it's pretty thin. It doesn't, doesn't really leave a mound. It's more like a little pyramid -y shape. It doesn't like drop straight in. It sort of goes down and then it does this tiny little pyramid shape. That's how I call it. It's not a mound, like it sits on top. So when you're using metallics, you have to keep your metallics thicker than your other paints because they they just disappear. So you can see a mound there. You can see it's thicker. And uh, <laughs> got blobs in it. Oh, there's some more. Anyway, I'll pick them out later. So yeah, it is thicker. Otherwise, um, your gold comes up and it just, it either disappears or it comes up and it just sort of goes into weird shapes. It doesn't hold its shape. So your metallic has to be thicker. Right, without further ado, that's enough of me yabbering on. But I know a lot of you like to know the science behind these things and why they work and why they don't work. So your swipe colour, your black has to be thinner than your other colours. That's mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. And then it's also had a splash of water. Go away, fly. So I'm going to put my black in here again. But instead of using the paper towel like I did the other day, I'm going to go with my little bits of plastic and just see if I can get a little bit more weight on it. So I'll just put them aside for a minute while I put some oil in. So that's my treadmill silicone. I'm going to do... They're nice big full cups. We'll do three drops in each. It really doesn't matter if you put your oil in your colours or in your swipe or in both. It, it doesn't matter. It just depends how many cells you want. Give it a good stir so you don't get big blobs of silicone. And the treadmill silicone is a nice thin silicone as opposed to something like uh, dimethicone, like coconut milk hair serum. It's quite a thick gluggy oil. So you might get bigger blobs of silicone or big weird shaped cells because it's a big blob of silicone. So stir it in really well. Okay, dokes. Righto, let's pour this paint on. So hopefully I've got enough. And because I want lots of different sort of shades and of colours. I'm going to do slightly smaller ribbons so that my colours blend a little bit. If you're using different densities like opaques or transparents or semi-transparents, you're going to get a different look as well because you're, you're lighter or semi-transparent or transparent paints. Not as heavy. It's going to come to the surface a little bit more. Alrighty, here's the gold. Uh, 
and I won't use it all now I'll put a little bit more on top later just in case it all gets lost so if you're having a dark swipe color like my black obviously your other colors need to be a little on the lighter side it's no point having black swipe over a navy and over a dark green you know you're not going to see them you're not going to see your cells you have to have some light colors there to make the cells stand out to make them pop so try for a range of colors sure how many big blobs of stuff's going to be in my gold. Now it really doesn't matter what your work looks like at this moment because we're going to tilt and cover the whole canvas. So this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter which is um, 12 by 24 inches and I've got three cups that are Three ounces of pouring medium and two ounces of paint. So 60 and 90 in the grams. Oh, I'm just looking for my texture. So, yeah. So what's that? It's 100 and, 150. So three, 450. So 450 grams of mixed paint I've got for this. I mm, hope it's not too thick. It's not moving real fast. It could be because of the gold that's in there that's not as thick as the others. Now don't waste too much of it going over the edges, hey? Just cover the sides. You don't want to waste too much paint. You want to keep as much on the surface as you can, but just go over. So we'll just help that. All right, I think we've gone over. All right, and we'll just leave it like that. Happy with that? We can hang that on the wall, can't we? Pretty, pretty. All right, let me just clean my hands here. And we will get started. Actually, I'll just do a little bit of finger painting, cover those corners if they haven't been covered. You haven't been covered. Let's put a little bit of paint on you just there. Doesn't matter if it doesn't match. It's one of those things that it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not going to see the sides really. I mean that you know it's not gonna matter because that's all gonna be different. Alrighty. Now I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna pop some bubbles. <laughs> We're going to get cells out, but that's okay. It's going to pop some bubbles. Cells are going, yay! It's time to come out and play. No, it's not. Go back, little cells. It's not time to come out and play. Okay, now, um, I've got my two bits of plastic that I've cut. I've got my piece of paper towel here to clean my plastic on because the good thing with the plastic is you can just wipe it and reuse it. Whereas if you're using paper towel, you need to you know, get a new piece each time. Um, now, if I put that there, are you going to be able to see that? There's my plastic. Oops. Let me have a look. Let me see if you can see that. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to pour my black into here. Probably don't need it all, so I'll just put that much in. And here we go. So I'm basically just going to dip my little bit of plastic in. It's just a piece of plastic. It used to be a document holder. And I'm just going to put the black on the top and I'm just going to swipe straight down. Okay, dokes, that's all I'm going to do. And hopefully we'll get some good cells. Hopefully my mix is the right consistency. 
So with the plastic, I can put a little bit more pressure on than I could with the paper towel. And just wipe that off. Right, now let's just test this and see if we're actually going to get any cells up with the big boy. Because if we're not, then we need to adjust now. Okay, so only little cells for now. They may grow. They may. We shall see. That's all right. I'll just leave it like that. I'd rather have small, really pretty cells than big cells that are not very pretty. So with this particular technique, because I'm using the plastic, do I like that? Oh, I don't know. I might try. Is this a lot darker across there? I want to see what the paper towel does. I think maybe I pick up too much when I'm doing the plastic. So that's a very different look, isn't it? Very, very different. Which one do you like? Let's get some of this black off, hey? I think that's just too much black across the top there. I think that'll be better. I'm going to put my plastic away. We'll go back to the paper towel. I just wanted to see what it would look like, but it was just so thick at the top there. All right, now I'm going to save my paper towel, my little pieces. We'll just cut that end off. And then we've got a fresh piece to use, hey? So just dip a little bit in, not too much, otherwise you get too much black and then it's difficult to get rid of it all because it ends up being too dark at the top. Now you can see the difference, I guess, because I'm swiping all that way rather than, you know, halfway. You can see that it's much lighter down here. So it just depends what you want. I mean, you could still go halfway. You could do a reflection swipe up and down. If you want a little bit more dark, a bit more black, put a little bit more on your paper towel and that way more will sit on there and then as you get lower and lower of course it thins out. I wonder how these cells are going to go because now my black is much thinner than it was before so my cells may actually get bigger this time round. They might. I actually do like the paper towel look and it gives you more of those lines, those striations. So I'm not spraying this paper towel with water, I'm just putting the paint straight on and letting it come off slowly onto the canvas. If you're just doing a dry swipe, like not adding a colour, then you know you would wet it. But because I'm adding black, that's my liquid, I don't need to spray it. Does that make sense? I'm going to make sure that the top is has got good contact there before you go because if it's not touching all the way you might have a little area that's got no paint on it. Oh, I only need a little tiny piece I'll use that end there. Dip him in. Alrighty. Last bit. Whee! Whoops! <laughs> I missed a bit. Oh there we go. Look I've still got heaps of heaps of black left. Pick up all my little bits of paper towel. I can use them again. All right, now for the exciting part. Do you want 
turn that ring light off. How's that? It's probably better. Okay, now for the exciting part. So we've got some pretty decent sized cells already popping up, which makes me think that changing over to the paper towel and having a thinner amount of black will allow those cells to come up and grow a bit more. If your black is really thick, as in the consistency of the black and the amount of black that you've got on there, the cells, when they pop up, they can't move very much. They're kind of stuck, you know, they can't move. Right, on low, big boy. Now the bottom of my um, nozzle is about a foot from the canvas, okay? Because you can't see from there, but it's about a foot. 30 centimeters, put on low. Nice and high little circles to begin with. As I've said before, you can always come back and do more, but just start start slow and high so that you don't get too, too many in one spot. Unless, of course, you want a lot in one spot. I prefer not to. Now, the gold at the moment, when the gold cells come up, they're not going to look amazing. But when they dry, I think it'll look much nicer because, you know, they'll start to get that sparkle and that shine. So at the moment, I'm not really seeing a lot of gold. I may have had it a little bit too thin. You know how I said you have to make it thicker than your other colours? Which it was, but it may still not have been thick enough. over here in this dark area. Oh look there they come. A little bit at the top there. A little bit in this top corner. It takes a few seconds for them to come up. Don't overdo it. I actually would have preferred not to have those there but they're done now you know and have maybe a little bit more black at the top I think would have been nice. How are we looking? Do we need more? I don't want to overdo it. I think it's nice having some background. Oh my gosh. Last little one just went there. Never mind. Hey, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, love that stripy background over the top. Now, if you're into um, balloon dipping, this type of um, canvas here would be ideal for that. Should I come back and dip? Should I? If you're going to, if you want to do your balloon dips, look, I don't think I will on this one, but I will do one specifically coming up for balloon dips. Or I may come back, I don't know, because I don't really like that there. So I got a bit close there, because I thought it's darker, so I need to get closer, but I didn't really need to. These cells are amazing, amazing. Can't see a lot of gold, it's just a little glimmer here and there of the gold. Uh, but as I said, when it dries, I think the gold will be really, really pretty. But um, yeah, as I was saying, if you do want to balloon dip, um, I like to get a water balloon out. Oh, I'm just trying to see what colouring is better. Oh, I don't know. It looks more orange than it is. It's not. It's, it looks orange through the screen. It's not. It's, it's red and burgundy. Why can we never get the colours correct, you guys? Why? It just looks orange. It's not orange. It's red. All right. When I when I edit it, I'll um I'll put the photo to the correct color. All right. Look at these cells. They are yummy. And that looks a bit more purple through there, doesn't it? Oh, I wish we could get correct colors. It's so frustrating. 
because I want you to see what I can see. Do you see what I see? No, you don't. You see orange when I see red. I see red, I see red, I see red. Oh, God. I think I've had too much coffee today. <laughs> Do you love this background? Love the background. All right. So anyway, getting back to, I'm getting distracted, getting back to the balloon dips. If you want to dip, and I may still come back and do it, you need to wait, wait, wait until your paint starts thickening up. Otherwise, it just won't work. So, you know, it depends how thick you've got your paint, as in the amount of paint on the surface. You may have to come back four, six, eight hours the next day later to do your balloon dips to actually get the petals to hold their shape. Otherwise, what happens is you do your little balloon dip and the paint is so wet and thin that it just all rushes back into the center and the petals don't hold their shape. So you have to wait. So there we go. Do you like it? Even though it looks orange. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for watching again. I may or may not come back and do balloon dips. See how my day goes. See how I feel. Uh, if I do, I'll, I'll video it. If I don't, I'll just show you the finished product and we'll do a balloon dip another day, okay? You won't miss out. I'll, I'll do one for you. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye for now. Go away, fly!